Hello everyone and welcome to the final episode of Drams Delivered of this year. Um, I can't quite believe that it's been a full 12 months now that we've been doing this and sending whiskey out to you all. Um, thank you all for all of your support throughout the year and for those of you that have just joined us, welcome to Drams Delivered. We can't wait to share some lovely whiskey with you and first of all, we have Balveni Caribbean cask. Very nice. Yeah, so over the past 12 months, Matt, what have been your standout whiskies? Uh, good question. Um, I think the Daft Mill was, for me, yeah. something very special as a whiskey fan. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a lot of the members who've got in touch with us with comments and emails, it's been, been you know, really nice to hear you guys enjoyed it as well. We worked quite hard to, to try and source that whiskey and I think that was probably the, the highlight for me. What about yeah. you? I think, yeah, Daft Mill was an absolute cracker. Um, to be honest, I enjoyed all of them. Cahom and Sanig was great, Glenallachie 15. Um, yeah, some great drams next year and yeah, some great drams still to come. Great drams so, still to come, yeah. We've yeah. got a, a good lineup sort of in our minds for, for next year. Um, so yeah, very much looking forward to, to sharing them with you. But um, it is the festive season, so I think it's probably time time for a wee dram. So um, yeah. what we've got here um, is Balveni. So um, whiskey fans, I'm sure you guys have come across Balveni before. Uh, maybe not maybe this expression, but it is a very, very popular dram for, for a good reason. Um, the distillery started a long time ago in 1892. Um, it's based in Dufftown and is the sort of sister distillery to Glenfiddich. It was actually built, or it is built, right right next door. Um, and it used to be called Glen Gordon, but took on the name of Balvenie Castle, uh, which is situated next door. And from that point on, it's just been, been known as the Balvenie. Predominantly, uh, Balvenie was used for blending, um, but in 1973, um, they actually released their, their first single malt. Um, and it kind of got quite a cult status quite quickly. Um, and the demand for Balvenie was sort of increasing, increasing. Um, as a result, um, William Grant's built a third distillery on site called Caninvi. Uh, and Caninvi is one that people don't really know anything about, um, but it's kind of taken on quite a lot of the load of the blending demand, uh, which means that we now can get our hands on more Balvenie, which for me is a good thing. So should we try some Balvenie? Let's have a little taste, shall we? Yeah. Oh, the first unbottled. The first, yeah, I know, yeah. Here we go. Always an exciting moment. Oh. Oh, good one. That was a good one. <laughs> Great. So this was actually the very first whiskey I enjoyed. And I don't think you're alone in that. Yeah. Um, a lot of people do ask both of us i think you know I, I want to get into whiskey i want to enjoy whiskey where should i start and balveni is a fantastic place yeah. to start and i think in particular the caribbean cask 14 year old so it spends quite a lot of its life in ex-bourbon casks and then it's finished in caribbean rum casks so the process of finishing a whiskey in a different kind of barrel is actually something that was pioneered by Balveni yep. and yep. a certain Mr. David Stewart. Yep. Yep. Um, and that was pioneered with their 12 year old, which starts its life in bourbon and then is moved into sherry casks. Um, so before then, no one had really thought to do this, but I think it really, really works, especially yeah. with this dram. So let's have yeah. a Yeah, they were the leaders in, in doing that. I mean, it's, yeah. we talk about it quite a lot now with rum casks, sherry casks, but. It was I think 1993 they started doing that, and I think the whole industry has followed suit. So all these interesting cask finishes that we are lucky enough to try now is a result of, as John said, David Stewart's work at Balveni. So uh, yeah, do we have a wee a wee Cheers. dram? Cheers! Yeah. Cheers! Merry Christmas, everybody! Hope you're Merry enjoying Christmas. your drams. A lovely dram. Very nice, eh? Yep, so bottled at 43%. Lots of lovely notes of like vanilla, coconut, exotic fruits. Yeah, it's really soft, it's gentle. Um, and I think that's, I think growing up in Scotland, you get given whiskey at probably far too young an age. Um, yep. And being Scottish, you're supposed to like it. But I think the reality of it is that Whiskey is quite a, you know, it's an intense drink. 
and often it's given in the wrong circumstances by a drunk uncle at a wedding at two in the morning and you pretend to like it but you don't you don't really like it um i used to be a big rum drinker and a friend of mine bought me um balvenie 14 as a gift um and this was the first dram i actually sat down and thought this is really palatable it's very soft it's very fruity yeah. um and just very very enjoyable um i think it's a cracking dram and I think in the bar, this for a long time was our, our best selling dram over yep. the bar by, by a long way. Um, and I can see why. Yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic. It's just super approachable, a great sort of crowd pleaser. And I think a great Christmas dram as well, because let's face it, when you've had a full day of eating <laughs> yeah. and drinking, you, you kind of want something that's quite easy and approachable. And, yeah. yeah. Do we know much about the rum that it's been in? So I believe that William Grant's um, have their own special blend mm. of Caribbean rum created just for this, and then they season casks with it. So they put that in into the casks for a short period of time, and then empty them, and then put the, the Balvenie in there. Very um, nice. Exactly where the rum comes from, we're not entirely sure, um, but it is all from the Caribbean. So nice. you're, you've visited the Caribbean, have you, Matt? Or Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Oh, no, right, no, no, no. Sorry. Um, a bit of a, a first world problem, really. I've not been to the Caribbean yet, but um, no, we were supposed to go last January, but lockdown got in the way. So I'm really hoping that lockdown does not get in the way for a third time, I think it's been postponed, actually. Um, so I will do my service for all of us Drams Delivered subscribers. For you, John, I will go to the Caribbean and I will try and find out what rum they use for Balvenie. Mm. It's a selfless service that I offer. It um, sounds like it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, on guys, that I, note. Yeah, <laughs> on that note, I think we'll call it there. Um, and hopefully you guys have a, a great Christmas, a new year, and we look forward yeah. to, to sharing lots more drams with you next year. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Slange. Slange. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.